This is a $50 tin of Pokemon cards. And this is a $500 tin of Pokemon cards. Every tin I open up is going to get more and more valuable until I hit the $500 tin. Will it be the $50 tin, the $300 tin, or the $500 tin? There's only one way to find out. Let's get into it. All right, so the cool thing about this is you're not going to know what's inside any of these boxes until I get to it. So make sure you stick around for the entire video. But we're starting off right here with the $50 tin. So let's crack right into this, and I'm going to show you guys exactly what's in here. All right, you might be able to see it. We do have a $50 Hidden Fates tin. This thing could potentially contain an $800 PSA 10 shiny Charizard, but this is an amazing set, so let's crack right into here. First on the top, we do get a Charizard GX as well as a code card. Now, there should be, I believe, four booster packs inside of here. Let's see what we got. We got the Mew. We got the Legendary Birds. Uh, we got another Mew, and we also got Mewtwo. So even though this tin is only $50 and the other one is $500, there is still a chance that this one could have better pulls in it. It really just is going to come down to how lucky we are on each tin. So uh, let me know which tin you think is going to have the best pulls. And make sure, no cheating, all right? Let me uh, know right now before you get further into the video. But we're going to see what we get out of our first pack of Hidden Fates. This is one of my favorite sets of all time because you can get the crazy stuff. I mean, there's so many shiny Pokemon in here. We got a Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Paris. Oh, start with the gold already. Tapu Lele GX. But can we follow it up? Can we follow it up? Oh, Weezing, not hollow hit. Already start off with a gold card. All right, and we still have three packs left. This is definitely going to be a contender. All right, so our second pack here of Hidden Fates. That's what it is with the set. You never know what's going to happen. You could get like a double banger pack, Charizard. You get Mewtwo. You can get the Legendary Birds. You never know what to expect out of here. Star you. Slowpoke reverse and an Eevee hollow hit. Two more packs. Uh, hopefully we can get another big hit or two out of here. It kind of depends on the print run that we get from Hidden Fates. I know the earliest print runs are actually like crazy good hits. And then as the print runs continued, I think that it got like worse and worse for the hits. But I mean, anything goes. Ooh, we got a raw shiny. Very nice. And a Mew non-hollow. We got one more pack. It is going to be that Mewtwo artwork. All right, Hidden Fates. And then we're going to move on to the next level up. I believe is actually going to be a $150 tin. It's a tin that I've never opened up before, so I'm really excited for that. But we got a Clefairy, Slowpoke, Magikarp, Pikachu, Voltorb. There we go. Aether Foundation of Pulling Full Art. And... Oh, and a Mewtwo GX double banger pack. Our first hit is done. We had four really big hits, and then also we do have that Charizard to go with it as well. But now we have a $150 tin coming up. All right, let's see what's in this box. $150 tin, and it is... It's a lot smaller, but we do have a Mega Charizard tin. So this is basically a case for your deck, but there's also packs in here. And on the bottom, you can see it says 2014, so... There's potentially some really old packs, and actually, I think, I don't know if it's guaranteed, but apparently, there's supposed to be flash fire tins in here. So, I mean, just judging from the Charizards on both sides, I'm hoping that's the case because it was really expensive, and flash fire packs are very valuable. Oh, we got an X and Y base set. Uh-oh, okay, hopefully there's at least one flash fire in here. There is. All right, that's fine. We got at least one flash fire. All right, we got a couple really nice sets here. Uh, it's actually, some of the top sets from the X and Y era. This is X and Y base from 2014. Um, it came out. It was the first set, and then X and Y flash fire came out a little bit after that. But you can get the full art Venus right here or Blastoise. There's that cool old school code card. Uh, let's take three from the back to the front, and let's hope that we get a big hit. We only got two packs. Uh, two shots, but two sets that are really big, especially the Flash Fire. We got Timber. Nice Pikachu card in there as well. We got our Energy. Dude, that's a pretty epic Weedle. All right, ready? Max Revive Reverse. And... Oh, it's Simipore Non-Hollow Rare. Oh, this one's tough. We might get wiped out value-wise, but it all comes down to this Flash Fire pack. Now, there's a really small chance that we could pull out one of the Secret Rare Charizards or the Full Art Charizard. Um... Those are very, very valuable. Um, it could be crazy. If we get the Secret Rare and it, it was like a PSA 10 condition, uh, it's like thousands for one of those cards. So, I mean, there's still a shot that we could get something crazy. So, it all is on this pack, though. Fletchlinger, we got an Ultra Ball, Dusclops, Sandile, 
Ponyta, Sneasel, I'm nervous on this one. This is this could wipe us out for the 150 10. <laughs> All right, ready? The last card is no, Snorlax not hollow rare. We got wiped out on that one. Hopefully none of you guys voted for the $150 tin. That was a complete wipeout. But we do have a $200 tin up next. From here on out, it's going to start getting very crazy. So our $200 tin, can you guys guess it? It is going to be... Ooh, you see it? It's the Blastoise. We have a 2014 Power Trio tin featuring Blastoise. So the Power Trio could be either Blastoise, Charizard, or Venusaur. We got the Blastoise one. Um, but here's the thing. Okay, see how it says 2014 down there? This is actually a really big risk because they reused these tins. They had a ton of them laying around empty, and they reused them like a couple years later. I want to say maybe 2016. So this is the thing, right? There could be older packs in here. Or there could be still old packs, but not as old as the original one. So this was a complete gamble for $200 tin. Uh, either way, there should be old stuff in here. So we do have to start it off here a Blastoise EX beautiful card as well as a code card. Ooh, but is that what I think it is? Ah, uh, it has to be. Yes, we have an Evolution Booster Pack. So that's really good, but I think we might actually have the 2016 version of this uh, because Evolutions came out in 2016, so they wouldn't have been in here if it was 2014. Uh, we also do have another Evolutions Pack, so these two are really nice. Moving on, we do have a Fates Collide, which isn't too bad. It's a pretty solid one. Oh, but then we do have the Steve Siege. Oh, no. I think we got a 2016 tin. So definitely that's one thing to look out for, guys. If you do end up picking up one of these, just be careful. Even though it says 2014 on the Power Trio tins, you might get a 2016 tin, which you might even be more likely to get a 2016 tin. I don't really know. Let's do them in order of value. So we'll start off with Steam Siege, the least valuable pack. Um, and honestly, so we probably only got like $50 worth of packs out of the $200 tin. So that's not too good at all. That's a green code card. Um, I don't know when they started doing the green and white code cards. There's maybe could be something in here. Monferno. Litleo. So here's the thing. It only matters what we get out of the packs, right? So we could still get Charizards out of Evolutions. We could get big hitter stuff. Uh, Armor Fossil. And a Toxicroak non-hollow. All right. Come on. Come on. Maybe we can make it happen with this $200 tin. I don't know. We're going to find out right now, though. I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful. Evolutions usually saves the day a lot of times, uh, but we definitely are in way over on what the value of the actual packs are. We got a Finnegan, but of course, a lot of times it's all about the sealed product and the rarity of that as well. So, Deerling, we got a Bronzor. Ooh, White Kirin Reverse, dude, that's sick. That's a rare reverse. Ed! Oh, Altaria EX, I'll take that. We're back at that moment where it's like a make or break type of thing right now. We really need evolutions to come through strong. I'm talking about double banger packs, even more than a double banger because uh, you can do that with evolutions. We got a green code card. That's not the end of the world, though, with evolutions. So we'll get secret rare. Whoa. We got an upside down card on that one. That's a rare. Hopefully it's something crazy. Uh, but we can still get secret rares, which is really good. Um, we could still get, a, I mean, we get a Charizard reverse in here. That could literally just save us. Electabuzz, Ratata, Growlithe coming up on our reverse. Okay, actually, we do have a break card instead of our reverse. And what was in that rare slot? An upside down BU2. Not too bad on that one. This is our last chance for our $200 tin. But guys, you get to look forward to some amazing stuff coming up because literally a $300 tin is up next. And that is going back old school. And then the $500 tin. I don't even know if anybody's going to be able to guess that one. I've never opened up the $500 tin. I've never even opened up the $300 tin before. They're that crazy. So, all right. We got a Charizard Spirit Link. Let's call upon a Charizard and a Charmeleon. That's a good sign, right? Double colors. We got a rat -ta, -ta, ta ta Growlithe, Nidoran, Vulpix, Sandshrew, Hedro Reverse. All right. It's a rare reverse. Not too, too bad. And... Oh, Mega Venusaur EX full art hit. Nice. All right, so at the moment, I got to say the $50 tin is definitely still winning. But up next, we got a big one. This is a $300 tin. All right, now I'm getting really pumped to see what we're going to pull out of these. Can we get in here? Yes. Okay. So, oh, this is sick, dude. Look at this one. So right here, we have a Keldeo EX tin. And I want to say, yeah, it's from the year 2013. So about 10 years ago. Expound the boundaries of your game with the Pokemon TCG EX Power Tin. So yeah, I actually have no idea what actual packs are going to be in here. I'm hoping for some maybe legendary treasures, 
Uh, Plasma Blast will be pretty cool. Plasma Storm would be absolutely insane. I don't, uh, I, I wouldn't say I, I don't think it's going to happen, but I hope it does. So let's see what we got in here. Okay. So we do have a Kelvio EX. That is a gorgeous promo card. What else is in here? There's also another loose card uh, just randomly thrown in here. This is a Meloetta um, Black Star promo as well. It's a really cool artwork. You got Meowth up there in the background. Ooh, and then this is going to be a big uh, code card. That looks actually insane. Like, look how much detail they put into just the code card. But there you go. And then we do have Legendary Treasures. That's big. All right. We have a Legendary Treasures booster pack. We also do have a Plasma Blast. Okay, I was actually right on that one. Another amazing pack to pull out of here. Dude, Boundaries Cross is in here as well. That's another actually really good one to pull. Oh, oh, and another really big one. Dragon's Exalted. Yo, that's a sick lineup. All right, so this is actually the first time since like the $50 tin where I feel like we got our money's worth in actual just like sealed packs inside of it. I don't even know where to start. Um, Maybe we'll just do them in order that we pulled them out. So we'll start off with Legendary Treasures Oh my god, this is sick. So this is 2013, almost 10 years ago. Legendary Treasures. Guys, if you've seen me open up Legendary Treasures before, just get ready. These have some of the best pull rates ever. Oh my god. Okay, so here's our code card. That looks amazing. Let's flip that around, throw that out, and then we're going to go three from the back to the front. And let's just see how many hits we get out of this thing. Start out with the Torchic Radiant Collection. Look at that. It's got that glossy sort of like finish with a bunch of uh, really cool star patterns on there. That's an amazing hit. We got Shuckle. Oh, man. Look at these artworks. Swablu. It is going down against that Charmeleon. Not too. Stuck in a blizzard. But somebody's coming to rescue them in the background. All right, ready? Oh, Krogunk. Carnivine Reverse. Oh, Reshiram EX! First pack, baby! Let's freaking go! Look at that fire! I think we could also pull something else here. And we get a Purloin Radiant Collection card as well. All right, let's keep it going. This tin could be the winner, maybe? We're going to find out. I don't know. Um, So we have a couple of really nice packs still left in here. Three still left. And uh, the first one was definitely a banger. Black and white era has some crazy cool stuff in it. Your string. We got a silver mirror carablast. blast. All right, let's see if we get out of this one. Man, I'm feeling good about these last two tins. I don't know. All right, an arch in reverse. Very nice. Actually, never pulled this card before, I don't think. That's really cool. And, oh, Genesect EX. <laughs> it just doesn't stop right now from the black and white era. Dude, that's a crazy. Look at the colors on that thing. And the lightning all around the, the border. Dude, that's crazy. Okay, okay, all right. Boundaries cross up next. We're two for two. And actually, the first one was insane. Uh, okay, let's just keep it rolling then. Another really cool code card. Flip that around. Let's see if we just get something out of every pack at this rate. Let's go. All right, boundaries cross. Got a Lopunny. Oh, Farfetched. Let's go, baby. Togepi. Pokeball. Guys, again, if you are enjoying this video, do not forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you're brand new here to the channel because hopefully it's going to be an amazing pack. Woobat. Oh, and he's smack trainer. We can't stop it. What? Dude, look at that card. Oh, my God. We actually pulled an eight smack trainer. You might pull like one or two of these out of an entire booster box of 36 packs. Yo. And... I think we might have a shot at something behind it. Oh, man. Crystal Edge. Ooh, and a Whimsicott non-hollow. Dude. Yo. Yo. That is actually happening. Okay. Dragon's Exalted is the final set we have here. This one's from the year 2012. So this one's 10 years old. And it just has, like, crazy dragon Pokemon in here. Oh, my God. Okay. Let's go 4 for 4 Dude, that tin? I don't know. I think that tin's winning at this point. Let's see what happens. I think definitely after this pack, we get something like crazy as well. All right, start off with the Buffalo line. Let's go. Let's go four for four. Come on. Smash the like button for good luck. Cubone. Wurmple. Weasel. Magikarp reverse. Not even bad. Ed. No, oh, it's Terrakion EX out of the fourth pack. What? I think the $300 one is winning right now. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. But. We have right now the final tin, the $500 tin. When you guys see what's in this box, hopefully you're going to be as excited as I am. This is the final battle. Is this 
$500 tin. Like, I spent 500 bucks on this thing. Is this thing going to win? Oh, my God. I'm so excited to open this one up. You guys have no idea. Right here, we have a 2010 Meganium tin. And it has some insane booster packs and sets inside. I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm ready for this. This thing has been sealed, locked away for 12 years. And there's some sets from all, like a bunch of different errors, I believe, are in here. Four booster packs. Oh my god. Even just the card on the front, the promo card, is going to be crazy. Gently cut this thing open and begin this unboxing. Oh my god. I'm, this, is, this is probably going to be like the craziest tin that we've ever opened up on the channel right here. All right. Generation 2 all over it. You guys know I already love that. Oh my god. And it's a prime card. Somebody please pinch me. Oh my god, check this out. Very gently, very gently. Dude, that's a freaking promo card. Oh my god. Meganium Prime right on the top. Dude, that is beautiful. Oh, unfortunately, it does have a little ding on the top, but that's kind of expected a lot of times. And there's one down there too, actually. Also, really quickly, there's only one of these that exists in a PSA 10. Like, one. That's nuts. No idea what that thing's worth, but it's amazing. But we're going to see what packs we have in here. Okay, get ready for this. $500 tin. Oh, already starting with Pure Fire. A Heart Gold Soul Silver base set booster pack. This is the most expensive uh, set from the Heart Gold Soul Silver era. And then not only that, not only that, but a second one with the ho -Oh artwork. Dude, I'm so excited to open these up. But what else do we have? Oh, my God. We're going all the way back now to Diamond and Pearl Legends Awakened, dude. Already two different generations of Pokemon. These are really old. Uh, these came out right after the EX era. Legends Awakened, dude. And then finally, a third different generation. We have Platinum Base Set, dude. This is going to be nuts. All right, we got some really good value uh, packs in here. So, oh my god. Like, this is just, uh, just a banger lineup. Let's actually... Okay. Let's start with the Diamond and Pearl Legends Awakened. Then we'll move into the two Heart Gold Soul Silver. And then we'll end it on Platinum Base Set. Dude. What year is this from? 2008? Are you kidding me? This is almost a 15-year-old set in here, dude. Okay, Diamond and Pearl stuff is really hard to find. Um, we barely open up Diamond and Pearl on the channel because it's just... Pokemon was at a low time. So they didn't print a ton of it. Plus, it's really old. All right. Here we go, and uh, yeah, no code cards on these things. These are super old school. Um, code cards didn't start until the black and white era. Ready? Let's get it. All right, we got an unknown R. Lucario, just thrown in there as an uncommon, not hollow. We got a Lantern. We got a Yanma. Can the $500 tin plus the goods? Riolu, look at the artworks on this. God, I don't even think I've ever even opened up a booster box of these at all, you know? Let alone a pack. We got Beldum. We got Swine. Torkoal is going to be our reverse hit. Nice. That's actually a rare, too. That's gorgeous. Okay. Okay. Can we follow it up with something big? Can we follow it up with something big? Let's go. Let's go. Oh, Regirock, a non-hollow rare. All right. All right. All right. Let's do the Harkold Soul Silver base set now. Uh, this is another old school one from 2010. And, like, the pull rates on Harkold Soul Silver are usually crazy good. So we can get the prime cards. We could get a legend card, which is just like a masterpiece of a card. It, it just takes two illustrators to make that card happen. Um, you can get secret rares in here. Let's just go. Let's just go. All right. Whew, got that awesome border there. Energy switch. Dude, a Typhlosion's chilling with a Wobbuffet. Okay. We got an unknown card. I love the borders on these. Totodile. And it's all about Gen 2. It is all about Gen 2 in here. Sentry. Dude, look at that coffee. That's so epic. Come on. Growlithe. Let's get a big hit. Let's go. Whooper whoops, baby. Come on. Reverse unknown now. Ed. Oh, it's a Typhlosion, but a non-hollow hit. All right. We got to get back on track right now. I need some big hitters. Legend card. Prime card. Secret rare. Even like a big hitter hollow would be really good out of here. The thing is, you can get some crazy, crazy rare valuable cards out of all these packs. So every one of these has a shot. All right. Second to last pack, we have Skip Loom to start it off. Energy Switch, Poke Gear 3.0, that's a cool card. Drowsy, dude, in the ocean, we got a Sandshrew. Such a cool hand-drawn artwork there. Spinarak, 
Sudker, that's a cool one. <laughs> Meow. All right, I think we're coming up on a reverse. We have a Butterfree reverse. That's a crazy artwork. I love it though. All right, come on. Something big. Oh, we got a legend card out of that pack, dude. No way. No freaking way. That is exactly what we needed. Oh my God, my heart is pumping on that one, dude. Hold on. Steady the hands. Steady the hands. Dude, it's the Lugia legend card. Top hit, bro. Stop it. We did not just pull that card. Oh my god. <sighs> Guys, I just checked. There's literally no sales on this card over the last, like, three years. There's one listed and a PSA 10 for, like, over $1,500. Does that secure the win for the $500 tin in itself? I don't know. Let me know down below. If we get some craziness out of this last pack, I think that might even do it. Platinum base set is where we're going to end it right here. 2009. Even older than the Heart Gold Soul Silver. New worlds, new battles, platinum base set coming up. Let's get some last pack magic, and let's make this $500 tin an absolute banger. All right, but you guys got to let me know after this pack down below in the comment section which one of these you think was the winner. Either way, I had a blast opening up all of these, but it ain't over yet. Let's see what we can do. All right, Mighty Honor, Cactor. We got Skitty the Kitty, Mareep in clay form, Armor Fossil HP 50, Torkoal, come on. Let's get something big out of this one. Let's do it, let's do it. Ooh. Reverse Mareep is back. Okay, I'll take it, I'll take it, Mareep. And the final card is gonna be... Oh, an Altaria Hollow hit. 